<laughs> Hollywood's biggest night now has come and gone, and for the first time in three decades, the Oscars did not have a host. So we're asking you this morning, what did you think of the awards ceremony not having a steady host? Vote now on kvcom slash vote. And while you vote, Jay Wallace joins us here at the desk to break down last night's big Oscar moments. There were some good moments last Yeah, night. I'll do my best to, to let you know how it all went. We're Keep gonna it under three and a half hours if you can. <laughs> all right, all right, I got you. So first, you know, the host list setup that we're talking about, it was 1989. That's the last time it happened, and that's generally considered in the cinema community as the worst Oscar show ever. So that's in part why it took so long for it to even be an option again. And this time I'd say it went fairly smoothly and let us get all to the categories much quicker, just like I'll try to get to these points as quickly as I can. So while past years had big messages or themes, we didn't really have it this year. Looking at some of the history made, a record number 15 women took home awards and seven African American winners. Alfonso Coron is the first director to win Best Cinematography for his own film, For Roma, a movie, a movie deeply connected to his own life. And Marisha Ali, he's the first black actor to win two Best Supporting Actor Oscars. And he won for his role in Green Book, which won Best Picture. This film has some controversy with it. Ali played Dr. Donald Shirley, a pianist in the segregation era movie. Shirley's relatives have said the filmmakers exaggerated his friendship uh, with his butler, which is the focus of the movie. Now, a performance that seemed to only have controversy for possibly Bradley Cooper's Russian model girlfriend, <laughs> Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga singing the night's eventual best song, Shallow, from A Star Is Born. These two went on and showcased why their chemistry made the duo so powerful on screen together. And even though Roma didn't win Best Picture, which many thought it would happen, this is easily Netflix's biggest night at the Oscars so far and could be a sign of change to possibly come in the way movies are cast and awarded in the future.